I would say the most common reason that brings both men and women in to see me is they don't like the appearance of their neck or they feel like they're starting to look like their mother or their father in terms of the, the hanging jowls and the neck and they want to look as good as they feel. They might be 60 years old, but they feel like they're 40. And when they walk by a mirror, they don't feel that they look 40. And so they want to do something to make themselves, you know, maybe set back the clock seven to 10 years, basically. In the last six or seven years, I found a less invasive or minimally invasive facelift procedure. It's a short scar face and neck lift, and it's a huge improvement over the traditional facelifting techniques that um, actually that I was trained to do and that are probably uh, a lot of surgeons are still doing. Uh, I have never liked the traditional facelift because I didn't like the way people looked after the surgery. They looked windswept, they looked unnatural, and they looked tight. The shorter scar is a huge benefit to my patients because they have shorter recovery time. It's more like 10 to 14 days versus three to four weeks with the traditional facelift. They look much more natural right after the surgery because the pull is straight up instead of this way. So a lot of times when they go back to work, nobody's gonna say, what did you do, have a facelift? The comments that they get are, oh, you look really well rested or that haircut makes you look younger, which people love because they don't necessarily want to um, advertise the fact that they've had cosmetic surgery. The other thing that I really like is that surgical time is much shorter. These operations are taking me uh, maybe two and a half to three hours versus four to six hours with the more invasive facelift. And the risks of the operation are much, much less. It's a much safer operation. The traditional facelift incisions go up here, and then they go in front of the ear, and then all the way behind the ear, which can be a problem if you wear your hair short or if you're a man, you know, because in the last five or six years, I'm seeing more and more men coming in for this operation. So in contrast, the short scar facelift has a scar that goes just inside the hairline here, and up here, and down here, and it ends right behind the ear. So you can see it's about one third the length of the traditional facelifting um, scars. Well, with the neck portion of the surgery, uh, what I do is we treat the subcutaneous fatty deposits there with liposuction. And also, um, when you do that, you're gonna be left with loose skin. So then you have to kinda, with the face lifting part, I'm gonna pull up and I'm actually gonna take out skin and that will help take up some of the loose skin that's here. Now, in some patients, uh, they'll have what they call, uh, what's known in the business as a turkey waddle, where you get the sagging of the bands of muscle, it's called the platysma, and uh, a lot of times it's genetic. They'll say, well, I'm starting to look like my mother. So in that situation, um, I need to tighten up those muscles and suture them together or tie them together in the middle to get a better looking neck. So I'd have to make a little bit of a longer incision here and then uh, tie the muscles together from like here to here. And then I'm also catching the corner of the muscle when I'm doing the facelift part and getting a tight lift as well. Um, and so that's, those are the two different methods that I will use to address somebody's neck. I don't, I don't do the more invasive surgery anymore because nobody wants it, because the results, I think, are just as good, if not better, because they're more natural. For most patients, they can see the difference in their new look probably by 10 to 14 days. With the short scar facelift, you are gonna be bruised and swollen for the first three to four days. And then it starts to go down. So usually by six to seven days, maybe 60 to 70% of the bruising is down. And then by 10 to 14 days, maybe about 80% of the swelling has gone away to the point where you can actually see the results, you can cover up any bruising, with cover-up makeup and go back out, go back to work. I see all my facelift patients the day after surgery and I do the first dressing change. And then after that, they'll get seen usually the following week to get their sutures out. Uh, and then we'll see them in two weeks, four weeks, uh, three months and six months and then a year. So with the short scar facelift, uh, I prefer that people don't drive 
at least until they're off their pain medication. And most patients are off of that by maybe three to four to five days. So for the first post-operative visit, the patients will need a driver. And actually this brings up a good point that uh, somebody needs to drive the patient home on the day of surgery and they need to have a responsible adult stay with them that evening of surgery. And then they need a driver the morning of, or the morning after. Um, Usually by the time we get the stitches out, at six days, they're off their pain medication, their narcotics, and so they can drive themselves. In terms of activity level, I tell people to take it easy for at least two to three weeks where you're doing light duty sorts of things where we don't want you lifting anything heavier than five pounds. And I lift all restrictions on heavy physical activity at about four to six weeks. You know, we're living longer and we're living more healthy lives. And so people, they want to look as good as they feel. And so that's where the short scar face and neck lift comes in. I think the biggest thing that this operation can do is restore their, their self-confidence in themselves so they're not always looking at a mirror when they go by. And um, they do feel better about themselves and I think it just projects in their personality. If you know that you look better, you're going to project much more self-confidence.